the Pio Cesare family uh, is one of the oldest family in the uh, wine business of uh, the Piedmont region of Italy. Uh, we are proud enough to um, have been started by my great-grandfather, who started uh, to make wine as a hobby in 1881. He was an entrepreneur of the region, and he started to uh, uh, make a small amount of wine as a hobby to uh, give pleasure and happiness to uh, a bunch of his friends. Very soon he realized that that was going to be his mission for his life. It is, for me, uh, the same kind of reason of life that this has been for the different uh, generation that have come before me. The fifth generation is already on board. In fact, uh, my sister, San Cesare, uh, started to work with us eight years ago in September of 2000. I'm now doing with him and together with my cousin Augusto the same kind of tough training that my dad and my grandfather did with me when he was younger. This is what is the philosophy of our family and of our winery and I will do my best to teach to my cousin Federica Rossi when she will join the winery in a few years our philosophy and our way of making the business in Pio Cesare. We have always been known as being a, a traditional family, a traditional winery, a traditional producer. Tradition for me doesn't mean to continue to crush our grapes with our feet as we used to do at the, uh, in the old days. We apply all the most modern technology and technique and equipment, even though our cellars are very ancient and old and we have old Roman walls dating back to 50 BC. But the important is to be able to uh, reproduce uh, today the style of the wine that my dad, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather used to produce in the course of the history. And in this sense, I am proud of being defined as a traditional producer. I personally visit every single market because I like to associate uh, to the old traditional label of the Pio Cesare Barolo and Barbaresco also the face and the physiognomy of a person who is behind the label and behind the bottles. We are very much linked uh, with the soil and with the vineyards of the area. In fact, uh, we own uh, something like 60 hectares of uh, vineyards, about 135 acres, 140 acres, located in uh, very top uh, location among the Barbaresco and the Barolo region. We own five estates in the Barolo region and two estates in the Barbaresco region. The uh, quantity that we make is rather small. We only make about 400,000 bottles a year. And we have absolutely no intention to increase this production in uh, the future, as we did not do that in the past. Not because we believe that whatever is small is beautiful, but because we believe that uh, we've got to be strict to the origin of the terroir and the microclimate of the vineyards where we get our grapes in order to be able to keep the style of our wines as close as possible to the one that we have been made in the course of the years. If we would be forced to change and, in, and, and use other microclimates to uh, increase our production, certainly the style of our wine would be a bit different from the one that we have done so far, and this is something that my ancestor never wanted to do, and I absolutely don't want to do now. We grow the Nebbiolo grapes, which are the uh, most important grapes of the southern part of Piedmont, which are the basic for Barolo and Barbaresco. But at the same time, we grow Barbera to make some fabulous Barbera d'Alba. And we grow Nebbiolos to make other Nebbiolos, which are not Barolo and Barbaresco, which are the Nebbiolo Lange. We grow some Dolcetto to make Dolcetto d'Alba and a little bit of Chardonnay to make a couple of white wine, which uh, I have introduced in the range uh, of the Pio Cesare brand. We have always uh, tried to produce a style of Barbaresco and a style of wine in our family, which, of course, had the, the potential 
of aging for 50, 60 years, even longer than that. But a style of Barolo and Barbaresco that when our friends, consumer are buying in, on the shelves or are buying in the restaurant, they can immediately enjoy it. How can we do that? We can do that because we have a uh, particular source of terroir where our grapes are grown, because we vinify our wines, uh, we ferment it, we age it in oak within particular method which allow the wine to be smooth and round and um, the tannins being very well integrated with the uh, massive amount of fruit, but also a style of wine that because of the terroir can age for a very, very long amount of time. We opened a bottle of uh, Barolo from the, from the 922, from the 1922 vintage, um, which was a phenomenal wine, which was a wine that was still alive, which was a wine which was still indicating uh, the beautiness of the terroir of the region. And this is what I call the style of Pio Cesare, something that we can enjoy now, but something that uh, it will uh, give us a terrific pleasure when it is 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, just like all the other top wines in the whole world.